Sean and you are watching me on ZTech Media. We are back with another video. Today we are going to discuss about artificial intelligence. It's just like this coin. Like we have two sides of this, heads and tail. So we are going to talk more about artificial intelligence. For now, let's keep it rolling. Now, I said something about artificial intelligence. It is like a coin, like two sides. If we are considering this as head and then the other has to be tail. So you can consider artificial as head or tail. For, for example, if you are considering artificial as head of a coin, the intelligence has to be the tail. So what is artificial intelligence? So let me break it down. So these are two words, artificial. Let's discuss artificial. Artificial is something which is man-made, something man make it. And then intelligence is the capacity or ability to think, to learn, principles, facts, truth about something in order to grasp knowledge, use it wherever it is required. So artificial intelligence just now we discussed is the ability to learn. You can learn anything in artificial intelligence. Okay, And then put whatever you have learned into action. So it is a combination of learning and putting things into action. It's called artificial intelligence and it is made by man so that we can live a very easy and comfortable life. So why this technology, artificial intelligence, is so familiar in modern world, uh, or to be more specific in today's generation? Artificial intelligence, as I said, is the ability to learn and put it to action. So we are creating intelligence in machines, rather computers, so that they can learn how to think grasp knowledge and put into actions like human do. So over the time, artificial intelligence is going to have such a huge impact on human jobs. However, having said that, it will also create a lot of opportunities for humans in different aspects of domains. But then, there is no denying in this that artificial intelligence is the next thing. So artificial intelligence can be categorized into two types weak artificial intelligence and strong artificial intelligence. Let's discuss both. But first, let's discuss what is weak artificial intelligence. So weak artificial intelligence is like a system which is designed and trained to complete specific tasks. One good, good example of weak artificial intelligence is Apple's Siri and Google's voice assistant. Strong artificial intelligence. So what is strong artificial intelligence? The other name for this is artificial general intelligence, also known as AGI. So this particular system is designed to replicate human brain. So whenever any technology or any system or application made on artificial intelligence, AGI, will be behaving same like human beings because it has the ability and it has the flexes to work like human brain. So let me give you some industries are examples of artificial general intelligence rather strong artificial intelligence gaming industry is totally based on strong ai and also vision systems and natural language processing systems speech recognition and hand recognition as well as intelligent robots so these are some of the good examples you can take it as strong workables of strong artificial intelligence. Now there are four types of artificial intelligence. Reactive machine, the limited memory machine, the theory of mind machine, and the self-awareness machine. We'll discuss more about these four different types of artificial intelligence in our upcoming video. For now, I would just like to stick to what are four types of artificial intelligence. Let me just tell you the three cognitive skills which artificial intelligence focuses on. Learning, reasoning and self-correction and it plays its entire game within this boundary of learning, reasoning and self-correction. Now to discuss more about learning process of the first cognitive skill which artificial intelligence focuses on. It has three steps. Learning process like it try to learn the concept and then create rules after whatever knowledge it acquired. In other words, you can say algorithms and play by those rules and try to perform actions according to those algorithms. Now to discuss more about learning process of the first cognitive skill which artificial intelligence focuses on. 
it has three steps learning process like it try to learn the concept and then create rules after whatever knowledge it acquired in other words you can say algorithms and play by those rules and try to perform actions according to those algorithms reasoning processes so this skill set of artificial intelligence is designed or programmed to understand the right algorithm and process the action specifically according to some desired task so they have a target to achieve they have a desired operation in mind and then they are trying to achieve that particular operation on basis of this algorithm now self correction process this skill set focuses on fine tuning of algorithm to give most accurate results so this is almost like the sdlc software development life cycle in the software development or application development so after processing everything in the first two stages what it does is it rechecks all the fine tuning of algorithms so that you know the desired results are perfect in condition so what is the goal of this technology artificial intelligence uh when we have humans who can work rather than computers uh this is to do mass production to generate a lot of results or outcomes uh, without the need of humans so though this is man made the man has designed some algorithms some rules for the machines to adapt in order to learn or acquire data and process it the way they want it to be according to the algorithm and generate results however this will create a lot of ease environment for humans that we can have the data generated processed and results real time any time of the day any time of the night we are we are not reliable on some natural calamities or we are not reliable on some natural uh, disasters or conditions which prevent humans to go to work uh, we have the machines who are autonomous they just need the data they just need the rules set by a particular engineer or somebody and once these rules are integrated within the computers the computer is on its own to work like a human as i always say guys so, if you like the content please like share and subscribe to our channel which is zetek media and we we have been making a lot of interesting videos for you guys so that you can watch learn we are giving you that something which you want and you guys are supposed to give us something which we want which is in the way of like share and subscribe